Ah. Ah, everyone. Ah. Oh, you've got it. I'll let you do it. You have something better. You always do. All right, I'm gonna play the song. It's a song everyone should know. And if you don't, I'd be very impressed. This is totally the right version. Yep. <laughs> oh, this is... I'm saving this for my own personal use now. do I do the thing? Buddy. Oh. And then come over this side and press right at the back of scared me. <laughs> Boo. Hey, how are you? Merry Christmas. Merry Saturnalia. <laughs> <laughs> it's snowing over here. It is? It is. <laughs> it's snowing? It's snowing. <laughs> it was like 70 degrees where I am. I was hot today. <laughs> well, it isn't here. I can even like make make a snowball and stuff. Holy like shit. it's that compact. I mean, it snowed on Halloween a lot over here, like in recent years. I guess I shouldn't be surprised because your region is much more vulnerable it's to snow. It's actually the first time I've ever seen it snow on Halloween. That's weird. I guess that's a New York thing, where it'll like snow on Halloween and then it won't snow again until December, and it's like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It's stormy, like, it's it's spooky and windy and rainy, mm -hmm. but like, not in such a way that, like, shrug. 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 Anyways, I just popped in to scare you. Because I, I have ghost duties, you know. You you go do oh, what you indeed. need to do, Axie. Thank you. Happy, yeah, I mean, yeah. Merry Christmas. Blessed Samhain to you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of Hello, here. Do nice. your homework. <laughs> She's great. She She truly did a surprise on me. God, what else can I play? Do, 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 do. Sp spooky space music. I don't know. What am I doing with my life? Did I really think that would work? Well, history. What was my history on this computer? Oh, it's gonna give me my history for fucking everything. Uh, oh, here we go. Wow, that was a lot louder than that needed to be. But yeah. 
Hello, chat. Nobody's here yet. Well, that's because my intro song was literally two minutes long. <laughs> oh, Tenchi. For some reason, it's not yeah. showing you as in chat. Wait, hold on. I might need to refresh. Because it's weird, because I saw you Lupine Huggle, so I was like, how is that possible? <laughs> well, I'm definitely in there. I did a Lupine find the hook you did and i saw you so what the fuck weird ten she's a ghost everyone it's oh i see you but like you're not in the list of haxer is in the list of moderators and you're not but you're not not a mod so i don't know what that's about but hello internet and welcome to game theory <laughs> not quite <laughs> <laughs> although they are streaming now uh i'm i'm kind of doing the vcr thing where i have it open in one window so i can just rewind it and watch it again um because in case you didn't know wolfie is actually quite the fan of game theory um i'm i'm the fan of a lot of things oh i forgot to load the cannon with mahjong High pitch squeak, look at all the Dr. Pepper. I know. We took lessons from the best sassy farm tech. Look at all this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all this caffeinated goodness. Yeah, so guess what I got Tenchi hooked on last night? Mahjong. So we might be doing Mahjong. some multiplayer of that in a uh, stream near you but today we've got a treat for you guys so we submitted for a competition a like a spooky story that we wrote we performed and we recorded and we edited and we've been super psyched to share it with you guys uh if you guys are in Carowinds discord you've probably already had access to it or seen it or heard it uh but this will be the first time i'm showing it on my channel because oh god hello tinnitus i think that's tinnitus are you hearing high pitch squeak no nope. yeah no that's just tinnitus wow that one was not even discreet that was just like my hearing was normal and then suddenly it was just in one ear and i was just like wow okay <laughs> It'll go away in a couple of minutes. Um, it was just that remarkable where I was like, whoa, hello there. Um, you shrank it. How could you do such a thing? <laughs> what is have you it? never seen the small cans? In the UK, they have small cans of all the branded uh, So. Oh, we totally don't have that here. Oh, they're really dinky and cute. We don't believe in portion control. This is America. Um, sorry, Americans in chat. It's true. And hey, make mistakes, how are ya? So yeah, we're gonna be showing that to you guys tonight. And Tenshi's got a bunch of spooky stories for us to take turns reading. Uh, and we'll just play it by ear, really. Uh, Tenshi set this all up. Um, he set up this whole thing. Uh, and I personally love it. You contacting the ghost of Hasbro? Hey, some nobody. Uh, I suppose we are. Uh, Tenshi gave the history of Ouija boards in a What What podcast for Skyrim a couple weeks back. If you guys are interested in that, there's a VOD for that. Uh, two liter bottles are dust. Oh, bust. I mean, dust too, I suppose. Um, Jesus Christ, Mary Joseph and John. Hello there. I have four liters. I can fit in that. That's like an industrial waste container of Dr. Pepper. Are you telling me to get in? Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, we can do that whenever people are ready. Uh, for everyone, happy Halloween or happy, um, happy Samhain. Uh, 
or Samhain, as it looks like it's set, like pronounced, but that's not actually how you say it, Samhain. Um, but yeah, this is my favorite holiday of the year, and Tenchi decided to surprise me with this, which makes me super happy. Um, God, it's so nice to have like a partner who's into the things that I'm into, because it's it's so beautiful. It really is. Um, it just I don't know. It just makes me feel like really open and happy with everything, and just a lot more free to be me. So we're gonna do that. That'll be a special treat for you guys. Um, and we'll just take the night by ear. Uh, I have to get out of here by kind of reasonable hour, because I've got to do... Ooh. <laughs> uh, I got to do field work in the morning. Uh, but this will be a, a fairly long stream. That's so cool. How... How do I... How... How do I... Oh, I, I got it. Oh no. <laughs> Your sister took tomorrow off so you can go hunting for discount Halloween candy. Hell yeah. I might actually carve another pumpkin this year because my mom has liked my first one so much so we might get a discount pumpkin tomorrow. We'll see. It was so much fun to carve. This was the first year I carved a pumpkin in years. Uh, my first one I carved it in the shape of a hawk. I should actually put that picture on the Discord. Hold on a second. Do you want me to do that? Oh right, I sent it to you. Yeah, you could do that. Um, yeah. So, I did that. And that was cool. I love pumpkin carving. I love how it smells. I love how it feels. You need to judge this pump. J judge away. Uh, also, I made Tenchi's new profile picture, which I'm super proud of. Uh, on Discord. On Discord, not on t uh, Steam or Twitch. Um, so that's neat. Uh, so yeah, I've been I've been productive, and I'm super excited to show you guys this recording, because I've been hyping it up for a while. Uh, it lost the competition we submitted it to, but there were only three winners, and there was only one vote cast, and second place was determined by a marbles stream that I had no idea even happened. So we lost by default, uh, which didn't matter to us. Um, it was just, it was just fun to do, and Tenchi and I are probably gonna make another one of these, uh, just because it was super fun to record and write the first one together. Uh, but I need life to calm down a little bit before I can work on the script for that. The matriarch is still happening. I've just been really slow with it. Um, and yeah, Tenchi is. Are you sure you don't want me to do it? Cause I. I can't find. You can't you find. Grab. Yeah, I... <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, I can put it in chatter. Why not? Uh, we too. Or art stuff. I guess it's technically... It is an art stuff. You guys are silly. It's an art stuff, guys. I'll put, like, other pictures of it. Uh... Like, here's another picture of it in Chatter. There we go. Oh, wait, not that one. Ah! No! Be gone, thought. There we go. Uh. Yeah, someone else took some of these for me. But. Yeah, this is the... This is the best one. Whoa! I was shot dead. Rip. 
Yeah, I did post it. Yeah, so that was the first one I carved. That took a while, but I was really proud of it. Uh, so I might carve something more uh, traditional in a bit. So, Tenshi, how do we want to do this? I have no idea. Damn, that's three in a row you've lost. That RNG. It's the opposite of the RNG I had while playing Lisa. If you remember and that. I'm, I'm, I'm dead. Feels bad, man. So, I guess we could have it like this. Have it super meme <laughs> Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? All we right. can play guard. We can, I, I'll get rid of these two so we can actually play a guard game now. <laughs> Wait, no, leave leave Yugi. <laughs> leave leave I'll him. I'll shrink him. I'll shrink him. Yeah. Cause he goes so well with I challenge you to a children's card game. <laughs> Ah, uh, come on! Yeah. <laughs> We're never gonna get anything done. We spend too much time dicking around. I know it's great. <laughs> I'm trying to put these things to the side, and then you're like, "Ooh, let's play with them," and I'm just like, "Fuck! I'm a child. Get the fuck! Really? <laughs> you're the worst." <laughs> They're the worst. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. Oh, actually, the cards will make noise as we play it, won't we? Won't it? Yes, they can, but you can mute it in the just the volume. There's a volume mixer. Oh, my volume mixer. What yes. the fuck, Wolfie? Really? Really? Alright. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put it to zero for now. And then we're gonna jump. Are you ready for this, Tenshi? Are we jumping? Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so you jump. Yeah. I... I do know I love him. I love him so much. Yeah. So, tell me about the event in your own words. Everything I, uh... I tell you it's confidential, right? Everything from the moment you walked through that door. Right, you... You're a therapist. I, you, you, of course, that makes sense. I... Nothing has really made sense since then, you know. As we discussed over the phone, this is a safe place for you to understand your state as it stands and give you the tools to regain control over your own emotional states and mental well-being. We'll help you make it make sense, David. That sound okay to you? Yeah, uh, actually that sounds great. Of course, that's what I'm here for. Pause. Patient exhibited agitated behavior, fidgeting, and rocking forward and back. You know about... about the jungle, right? Which jungle is this? The... the, the one I told you about over the phone. I... crap, I did say that, yeah? No, no, you told me. Don't worry. It's important to go through these things in as much data as you can to help these memories go from a traumatic short-term memory system to then trigger it to be processed into the longer-term memory system to stop your brain from giving you those flashbacks, I believe? You can make those go away. Well, we will certainly try our best, and we have a large backing of proven science that tells us this is the right way to achieve this. You only get as much as you put in, and Marines put in 110%, isn't that right, David? Hoorah, ma'am. So, in your own words, what jungle? 
jungle, uh, just outside of Ford Base. Uh. Quite a distance from camp. Yeah. Yeah, how do you know that? My husband was stationed there for a while. Not too long, but I got a general view about the place. That's so, uh, it's, a, it's a small world, ain't it? So, uh, we were tasked, as we, we always were, just to, just to scout out a place and report back any signs of activity. It was the first time anybody had gone into the jungle. The locals warned us going in. We were all as tough as morning with <laughs> some wiggy shaman in the end of dick. No, I wasn't going to put the fear in us, ma'am, you know. The locals were aware of it being strange? Aware? That's just boogeyman stories to them. They... If they knew what was going on, they would... They would all move. They would take their wives and their children. And they would curse every second they had been close to that place. And why would you say that? You believe in God, ma'am? I can't say I've given it much thought, to be honest. I didn't. Not really, you know. It's, I was in church every Sunday, just in, in my best. But it was all ridiculous, though, right? The devil. <laughs> Some bitch in, in red with a pointy little trident was going around telling you to sin. It was uh, it was all meant to be stories, you know, and just, uh, just old made-up tales that your grand would tell you to make you believe and behave. Be careful if you do bad things or the devil will get your toes. Why'd you ask? Because we saw him. Or saw something. I don't know. And, uh... It was in our heads. Bad shit happened. It's, it's fucking mess. And they're dead. And I'm alive. I don't even know why. Remember what we talked about over the phone? These things have as much power as you give them. Your name is David. Your wife's name is... You're in my office. My name is... You are safe and nothing can get you in this place. So please remember your breathing. Good, that's it. Now you've reached a more calm state, why don't we start from the first moment you walk into the jungle and go from there? Is that something you can do, Marie? I wish I, I wish I had my gun, you know. I'm hardly without it these days. Hardly do anything these days, but I just hope it prays it doesn't get us all, you know. So, it was me. I was the youngest. I was bottom of the barrel. Fresh blood, they called me. Four years, still, still fresh blood. <laughs> so yeah, me, invincible younger me. I wasn't afraid of pistol. Being shot at, ah, been there and done that. Being danger close to them flyboys dropping their shits out of their planes that they treat way better than any girl. You know, that was Tuesday. Hell, even brave the local foods. <laughs> We weren't afraid of nothing. I was the rifleman. Then on point was Lance, uh, Lance Corporal. Um, we, uh, we, we just called him Kick. He was team lead. Why'd you call him Kick? Because he'd kick our fucking asses. We put a baby toe out of line. <laughs> and then there was my mate. Uh, we were, we were like this, you know. We were, we were like this. We called him Static. Because of the movie, you know, Small Soldiers. Link Static. With 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 the radios, you know? Well, that was him. He could get through to anybody when we really needed him to. He even got into the, <laughs> some of the local radio stations, but uh, you, you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> oh, complete twat, that man. God. Then there was... Uh, this man was, was made to be a marine. You could cut glass on the man's chin. He had muscles where the sun don't fucking shine. Man was a house on legs. We called him Brick. Same movie. You can, you can fill the theme. 
he, he was our AR. And then there was our, our marksman, uh, absolute wang. But uh, the best shot in our little fire team. Don't, uh, <laughs> don't tell him my. Uh, I... It's okay. It's all part of healing. Why don't you tell me what happened when you walked into the jungle? I had a feeling about this mission. You know. In the hours before the mission, we had the spook walk in. And he was joining us. You see, hush hush like. A spook? Yeah, you know those three letter types. So intelligence then? Yeah. Real shady type. Came in like he owned the damn place. And then all of a sudden we were landed with the pencil neck. And we had to go in the jungle. So you were not meant to be in the jungle to begin with? No. We we had orders to, to never go in them actually. Uh, arbitrary ones, you know, don't piss over the side of the boat type ones, you know. Or, or so we thought at the time. So he was on a mission with you, and you escorted him into the jungle? Yeah, we walked him in. He was right at the back. We were told he could handle himself, but I... Our mission as it stood was to walk to a spot in the jungle picked out for us, let him do his shady shade, and then walk him out. Three days. It sounds simple now, doesn't it? So three days. That makes a good system for us to go through. What happened on day one, David? Pause. The agent being mentioned here is former agent <laughs> Deceased. This was the agent that was assigned to the mission. Operation Night Ectype. Day one. Fuck it. It really was just three days, huh? Right, so we walked to the edge of the jungle and... You know, it's a moment I've been going through my head over and over and over again, just obsessing over the, the little things. I didn't really take this in at the time, but when we were walking into the jungle, when anybody walks into the jungle, what's the first thing that you experience? It's noises. Noises? Yeah, noises. Animal noises. There were none. Not a single creature was fucking or calling out to be fucked. There were no distress noises. Not even a little cheap. Not not a one. And that was unusual? You bet your ass that shit was unusual. Just coming out of spring on a warm morning and not one animal makes an appearance. A noise. This was the jungle, ma'am. Anywhere else in that area, you can't go one foot without some monkey or bird messing with your shit. Hell, <laughs> even our mags got pinch sometimes and I ain't talking poor mags but in this part of the jungle nothing it was like even the animals need to stay away from that place but you didn't notice that until after you thought about it I mean yeah but I so is it possible that you're adding more to the story post script I'll just let you sit with that for a while as a small challenge however please continue yeah, so, as I was saying it, the jungle was uh, maybe quite quiet. Yeah, right, uh, so we got to the edge of the jungle and we we parked our trucks and we had to load out the spook's shit. And he had a lot of gear. His shit? Yeah, a whole bunch of sciencey stuff, like radios that weren't radios and shit like that. So you had no idea what it was? I told you what it was. It was science and stuff. But he didn't really strike me as the nerd type. So I was really wondering why we... We had all this gear. Me and the boys got to talking on the drive out there and we thought... We thought at the time it was me weather manipulation. <laughs> weather manipulation? Hey, I got shit that will turn your shit white. You have no idea what the mills, mill guys have got up their sleeves. Us boys on the ground were just expendable assets, though. Like, they tell us grunts, anything. So you stopped your trucks from carrying the science stuff into the jungle? So we were walking into the boundary and Kick asks the VIP what direction we should go in. Alright, the, uh, the VIP's the spook. We were to handle him as a VIP. Uh, operationally, that is. 
but I remember Brick giving kicks from shit, saying, oh, saying it was a step too far that he'd forgotten where he was going, like, how drunk were you last night, you know? And Kick goes real quiet, and he says he doesn't know. So your team lead had no idea where you were going? That seems unusual. You mean, completely dangerous and unheard of? Well, we all stop and we look at Kick, thinking, What the fuck, Kick? You don't know where the fuck we're going? And Kick just shrugs and says, the only, only the spook knows where we're all going and to follow his lead. And the spook jumps out of the front and acts like he was always going to be the way. He starts giving directions to Kick and, well, that doesn't sit right well with us at all. As we were talking and walking through the jungle, through that first breach, me and the boys, we were wondering why we went through all the trouble to make it look like we were just escorting him when we were pretty much under his thumb. So the mission had changed completely then, it seems, from scouting out a place? Three days different. Some of the gear we were carrying was food, water and supplies for three days. So what happened when you got to the place you were supposed to be? Everything was dead. Ignore that. It's probably just some work in the building. I, okay, if you're sure. There were bodies. Human. Animal. Just, just a whole lot of bodies in this clearing. What, in a pile? No, just... Just separate. How do you... They were all just lined up. Uh, shapes. I don't know, they... Like they've been deliberately placed there, or... Something... Shit, it... It just wasn't right. None of the bodies looked disturbed, they just looked... <laughs> fucking looked like they'd just fallen asleep. I don't even know how you could get that many bodies this far into the jungle without... A concentrated effort or something. They were all... They were all placed in patterns. Like, I don't know, glyphs or something. Well, David, the brain is built to make patterns out of things. It's how I recognize faces and say blankets or shadows. Yeah, I get that, but... It just didn't feel right, you know? Well, there are many practices that leave their dead bodies out in the open for birds and other animals to pick them down to bones. Maybe this was just a religious site. Yeah, but if that were true, then what would the spook care for it? Like, none of this is right. None of this sits right. It's all fucking sketchy as fuck. As you said before, the man could have been doing anything. It's probably just because there was a clearing close to his plan or whatever the man was doing. You said it was sciencey stuff, not religious. Ah, but you see, you see, that stuff made it worse. How do you mean worse? It, uh, the stuff, <laughs> you're not going to believe me. My being here is not to prove or disprove anything. I'm here to help you process what you believe happened. If you believe it did, then it functioned this in the brain as if it were objectively real. So I have to deal with anything that comes out of your mouth in the safe space as real right okay then that's fair that's fair well we got to this clearing and I turned to team lead and I asked him what the fuck this was about cause well, what the fuck you know and he gets real quiet and he tells us just to unpack the stuff so we do, and it's a bunch of gadgets and gizmos and shit that makes no sense, and... And this one thing. One thing? It was a... It was the radio. I think it... I think it also had the glyphs on it. The radio did? Are you sure it wasn't just coded? I mean, he was an agent. I mean... Yeah... Could have been. I suppose. But we set all this stuff up, but we couldn't touch this one thing, you know, it was just off limits. And anyway, we we set everything up, and then that's when we noticed the food, the water, and the tarps. 
That was the moment we knew we were going to be staying there. We looked at team lead and he just... He just looked at us grimly and told us to set up anyway. So we started to set up the base and it was difficult. Because of all the bodies, you know. So me and Brick were about to move one when the spook just started screaming at us. To not touch a fucking damn thing. The agent did, not your team lead? Yeah. And when we asked him why, he said he didn't want anything to know we were here, but... But it doesn't make sense, because, like, animals can move them bodies, or, like, other people. Plus, we were camping there. We, we were going to have waste and fire and, well, shit pits. So why not move the bodies? It would be obvious we were there anyway, right? But... Anyway, we said fine, and we just set up around the bodies. So you went down for the night. What happened the next day? Well, we... We woke up, and we had been doing shifts in the night. Usual standard. And on that first night, I... I didn't have a shift, so I never confirmed this with my own eyes, but the bodies, they... Well, they had moved. The next morning. How do you mean, moved? Well, I spoke to Brick after, because he had the first watch, you see. And he says he was feeling watched since it, since he started it, but but he never saw anything strange. Not, not the first night, anyway. Yeah, the bodies were that were close to camp that we were going to move had to have moved, because else why were we going to move them, right? It was late in the jungle, you were tired after logging all the gear to the site. I'm sure they were just as they were. Yeah, I'm not so sure. We questioned the spook after talking about it for... most of that first day. He gets really on edge. He starts jumping down our throats asking if we saw anything. And then he relaxed when we told him we didn't. What the hell would we have supposed to have seen or... Well, rather not have supposed to have seen, you know? But he went back to that stupid radio, and he had his headphones back on. So we didn't get shit from him after that. He asked our team lead to help him with that fucking thing, too. And then when we went to talk to team lead later on, that's when we... He was off. Off? He looked all of a sudden like he... He hadn't slept for days, you know, he, he just kept twitching and jerking, and Static told him to lay off the coffee a bit, and he said what we were doing was wrong, that we shouldn't be here, that and nothing was going to be right after this. He was right, you know, but, uh, but we gave him some water and we sat him down and he, and he seemed to snap out of it, you know, he, 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 a bit. Told us to just keep watch and tell him of anything before we told the spook. And, well, that was the last moment he made sense. I do wish the other therapy sessions would keep it down. But he stopped, ta he stopped making sense. How so? That didn't sound... Right? Uh, sorry, I just... I, I guess I'm uneasy. I, you know? Well, after that first night, he kept talking about... About the old ones. Old ones? Yeah, when we caught up with him later, he... Uh, he said that they were calling him. And that he had to go. That he was chosen. Our marksman tried to bring him down and sat with him. And we were all telling him to just cut it out, you know, cut it out, man. And it, 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 nothing was registering with him. So our marksman stayed with him so he didn't go anywhere. And we tried talking to the spook, but he was insistent that we all stay and that he just needed fucking sleep. And that if, if any, if any of us backed out now, well, we would be under bad consequences. Bad consequences? He had our folders with our family names in. 
He said if we just play good, you know, nobody would find themselves missing one day. And after that, well, kick didn't seem so bad anymore, you know. I see. What happened that night? I know we sold our souls. I know. But that was our families. My little girl. I make no judgments, but it'll do you good to get the whole story out. Well, uh, that night we both had to take watch and, you know, make sure Kick didn't try to escape or hurt himself. And I got, I got the last watch that night. And Brick, he had the last watch the last night, so he got first watch. And he said he saw something that night. Hell, we all did. And Static told me. Well, he had the middle watch. And he passed it over to me. And as he passed it over to me, he told me he had also seen something. And that Brick, Brick had told him that he had seen something before him when he had passed it over. What had you seen? How do you explain the unexplainable? How do you mean? I don't... I don't have human words. Take as much time as you need to find the words you need to explain what you saw. No, no, no. You, you don't understand. I can picture it clearly in my mind. It always gives me a headache when I do. It makes me want to throw up. We all know what we saw. But the shape, the size, the behavior and its movement, it's its very self was just not explainable. You know that old visual illusion with the stairs that you know kind of go into each other? F fuck. Uh, uh, what was it? Penrose stairs? Yeah, th yeah those. Not possible, but yet. <laughs> right there in your face, you know? I saw it. Shit, I mean, I think I saw it. I just... Me and the boys afterwards, we called it... We called it the darkness. And it was blacker than the night. And it wouldn't light up under our night vision. And that was the moment where I looked right at it. And the whole world never, never made sense after that point. Then I heard a yell and Kick had escaped and smashed the, the radio and fled into the jungle. That was not a good thing to do. Aside from the object destroying and him running, why was it bad? There was... There was no wires or batteries... Inside. Nothing. But, uh... But something. Something inside the radio? Isn't that normal? What was it? <laughs> I, I mean, how do you explain the unexplainable? It was... It was a little statue-like thing covered in those fucking glyphs. Just like whatever the fuck was in that jungle. I don't have human words to describe it. Link, he had a name for it. non euclitaran uniformity or some shit. Non-Euclidean geometry. Yeah, yeah, that shit. How... How do you know that? I read a lot of books. I... <laughs> Sorry, yeah, yeah, of course. Sorry, I... Well, the thing, it was... Spiraling. In... Straight lines. And it was black and red at the same time and fuck 
worse than that. Even worse than that. The bodies. They were all covered in those fucking glyphs, man. Fucking. All this shit was straight out of a horror film. The spook screamed at us and told us not to look at what came out of the radio and covered up, but we all saw that. It made our heads hurt just looking at it. It just, it wasn't, shouldn't have existed, you know? I see. So this was the morning of the third day at this point? You, you didn't just hear that. Hear what, David? If you're hearing things, then... That very much changes how this goes. No, I... No, no, I... It must have been something in the building, just like earlier. I'm fucking jumpy, you know, I just... I'm not hearing shit. I'm, I'm sane. I'm the fucking sanest. I... I can't say the same for my buddies. How do you mean? Our marksman. And they... Link and Rick. They, uh, they all killed themselves shortly afterwards, you know. I was in contact with them all. Because, you know, we shared this thing. We were brothers. A thing that no one else would ever understand. I don't get why they would do that to me. We were trying to make sense of it, you know? We were trying to put it all together. Why, why'd they leave me? I'm the fresh blood. Please. Please don't leave me on my own, guys. PTSD. I heard on the on the wire. Me, <laughs> I just stayed out of my cabin, out of anybody's reach. I felt tainted by that jungle. I didn't even feel like I was human anymore. It made no sense. But after that, I went off off the grid completely. My wife. She, she divorced me. It took custody. And that's why I'm here, you know. Court mandated. It's so I can see my door. Otherwise, fuck all this shit. Sorry. No offense. It, sorry. None taken, David. However, this is a lot to take in. If you have no proof of this story... I'm sorry, I cannot write you off to be in a stable state to see your daughter. No, wait, you, you said you believe me. In essence, it does not matter what I believe. This doesn't sound good, David. If you have nothing to back up these claims, I'm sorry. We are going to have to be thinking of involuntary committal. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I... <sighs> I never said I didn't have any proof. I... Forgive me, boys. I... I smuggled... Well, I, I smuggled in a camera. You have pictures? Yeah, yeah, I... Look, I... I brought them with me. I, I carry them around with the, me all the time. I, I never let any of this shit out of my sight, honestly. It's... It's all in my bag. I was never going to share these with anybody, just the boys, you know, but they they will understand, you know, it's it's for my daughter. The, the boys, they'll understand, you know. I would like the deluxe package. 
Yes, I would like it delivered. However, I'm only free Tuesdays and only for an hour and 57 minutes. Yes, put me through. Yes. Yes, it's therapist. Put me through to Kingpin. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, with his own pistol. Thank you for getting that for us. Yeah, he was the one with the evidence. Yes, his daughter was the way. And like you said. No. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I think he was the only one who had it. As far as anyone will be aware, he had a rage in my office and pulled the trigger on himself after pulling out his gun. Yeah, the coroner over here owes me a favor. This is the last loose end then? Geek? Nah, he's gotta be dead, right? Nah, he was in that jungle, he can't have survived. Yes, I guess this is the end of... Operation Night Ectoic. I guess if this was a clean job, then... No loose ends and this is buried. This was contained. If only this was contained back then. that's that <laughs> it turned out to be 30 minutes long which is okay um cool am i showing up yes i am cool so i unmuted myself everything is good but yeah we've been playing jumanji as that's happened because we've heard this a thousand times that was sick thank you cp violet whose turn is it i uh... That's my cutscene. Oh, so I need to draw for you. Okay. No, 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 no. It's your go. Oh, it's my go. That was my card, so it's your go. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Five. All players move back four spaces. <sighs> God damn it, this game's unforgiving. Is that five? Yeah. Confusing Jumanji because I can't follow at all what you're doing. Oh yeah. It's we're just obeying the cards. No, oh, it's your go. It, was it your go? Uh, it's my go. I. No, you just went my go. You go one face. God, are we ever gonna win this game? <laughs> it's a bit of a bitch that way. Two. One, two. Yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'd been looking forward to showing it to you for quite a while. Yee. Yee. Uh, any number higher than three skips your turn. Oh, Ooh. that was close. You again now. That was... Yeah. Okay. Skip your next turn. Okay. <laughs> and what was that a submission for an SCP? Nah, just a spooky story. Like ghost stories, so we got creative with it. And decided mm. to do something a little unorthodox. All players move forward one space. Highness chase everyone. Ah, dice! Dice, why are you lagging? Alright, I'll take the five. One, two, three, four, five. You fight a killer plant and move. Uh, and win. Move two spaces. Three or two? Two. One, two. Okay. I was like, there's no way they're gonna have me move three. Come on, are you kidding me? What is, a guard. is this game like... Oh yeah, this game is totally blue-balling you. 
Uh, roll number lower than three on your next turn or skip your turn. Okay, you okay. It was okay. really good, thank you. We really worked hard on it. We're gonna do more stuff like that in the future as well. Yeet. Three. One, two, three. Uh, all players move back two spaces. <laughs> no. That's unfortunate. One. No. Hey, it's not over until the fat lady sings. Skip your next turn. All right. Fuck you, game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Zebra cows, you had two spaces. Oh, great. Do you win? Plus the card. Plus the card. Roll number lower than three your turn. So I think yeah. you're good. I, I won. GG. <laughs> I challenge you to a children's card game is all that's left of the world. Also, I love the warping effect on the floor. Well, yeah, cool. You, you challenge me to a children's card game? Oh no, I don't actually know how to play this. You, you, you challenged me to a children's card game? You at the... It was just a prank, bro! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but seriously. Uh, what do we want to do next? Because we still have some scary stories we can read. Yeah, I'm, I'm down to read some scary stories. Sweet. Oh my goodness, it actually is Yu-Gi-Oh. Of course it is. What did you think it was going to be? <laughs> oh, I love it. You... You... You meme yourself. You... You... You really do, Tenshi. Of course it's going to be Yu-Gi-Oh. What did you think it was going to be? Aunt... Uh-oh. Oh, yes. Let's get cozy. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, this is perfect. I got it at like such a nice angle. Can you change the back? I don't know. Would it be cool if we changed the background to the woods or something? Oh, right. Yeah, I can do that. Um... I mean, having it in the abyss also works. Hey, yep. Hey. Oh, this is so cool. Hold on. I'm trying to get it at the right angle. There we go. Yeah, that's that's the stuff. You read the first story? Yeah, all right. So, let me get it up. So the first story is called The Dog's Gravedigger. Rick swerved a fraction of a second too late. His, tar his car's tires screamed, leaving black tr tracks on the asphalt. Then there was a muffled thump. Rick felt a jolt move through his body, and the car rocked to a halt. For a moment, Rick didn't dare to do anything except breathe. Then he swore, loudly, and threw open the door. His car's high beams sliced through the night darkness, leaving trails of pale gold on the road. The markings from his tires spread out in a lazy loop, starting where he'd first seen the dog, and ending three feet too late. Rick knelt beside his car and looked over the result of, result of his accident. The lumpy, bloody clump of fur was definitely dead, and was barely recognizable as a dog. The impact must have killed instantly. Thank goodness for small blessings. Rick grimaced and felt around its neck, but it didn't have a collar. A stray, then? It does look thin. I just realized I have the mix-up stall. There. 
Uh, da -da 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 -da. Then something about its nose, though, made him think it was a purebred. It might have been a stray when he'd hit it. He'd suspected it was because there weren't any houses for a 20 minute drive in each direction. But it'd probably been someone's pet at one time. Rick swore again and pulled off his jacket. He lost a dog of his own when he was a child. The driver hadn't even stopped. The inhumanity had cut him deeply, and even 20 years later, he couldn't imagine leaving the animal on the side of the road. If it had belonged to a child, that child would want his pet treated respectfully. The body mostly hung together, though one of the legs was only attached by a strip of flesh and a few muscles. Rick shrugged out of his jacket. Good thing I'm wearing a cheap one tonight and wrapped it around the dog, then carefully lifted the bundle into the passenger seat. He returned to the driver's seat and hesitated as he tried to decide what to do with the animal. He could take it to a vet and hope they disposed of it kindly, or he could take it to his home and bury it in his backyard, or... Rick put the car into gear, a smile growing across his face as he remembered what he stored in the trunk. He bought a full set of gardening equipment the week before, and hadn't gotten around to... Moving it out of his car. What the hell, Tenchi? I'm a child, therefore building blocks. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> In amongst the shears, spades, and gloves was a shovel, and surrounding him was a forest. Yes, a burial in the woods where its body will nurture the trees. It's the best thing to do. Rick drove until he found a gap in the trees wide enough for him to maneuver the car into. He drove past it, then reversed, so that the back of the car would be facing the woods. He was able to get the car around 20 paces into the forest before it became too thick for him to continue. It wasn't quite far enough to disgui disguise the car if a wayward driver happened to look in his direction, but it was more private than leaving his vehicle on the road. He hoped no one would see him. Goodness knew what a passerby might think if they saw a lone man digging a hole in the woods at a quarter past midnight. Rick turned off the car, smothering the headlights. The moon was full and bright, and the trees were sparse enough to let plenty of natural illumination through. The fallen pine needles crunched under his feet as he rounded the car and opened the boot. Inside were the tools lying on a tarpaulin. He took the shovel, walked ten paces to, cl to a clear patch of ground, and started digging. The dirt was tightly packed, but not as bad as he'd been expecting. Even so, it was exhausting work, and he started sweating before the hole was deeper than his arm. It's gotta be deep enough, he thought, so the wild animals can't smell it and dig it out. The air was frosty, and his breath plumed in front of his face every time he exhaled. His He knew his fingers would have become numb if the exercise hadn't been pumping blood through them so quickly. A car came down the road, and Rick froze. The vehicle was traveling quickly, though, and packed past her hiding space without slowing down. The rural road was rarely traveled, even during the day. Rick hadn't passed any cars during the last ten minutes of his drive, so he didn't expect to be disturbed again. He dug until the sweat stained the underarms and the back of his t-shirt, and stuck his dark hair to his forehead. He'd made a good hole, a little larger than the dog would need, and deep enough that so that the bones wouldn't come up for a long time. Everyone deserves peace. Panting, his limbs trembling from the exertion, Rick climbed out of the hole and turned back to the car. Instead of going to the jacket-wrapped bundle in the passenger seat, he went to the boot and pushed the tools off the tarpaulin. Then he grabbed the corner of the blue material, pulled it out of the boot, straining against the weight. Dead weight. He chuckled to himself as he hauled his baggage toward the hole. Why is he getting such weird... She'd go in with the tarpaulin, of course. A little extra insurance to protect her from being dug up. What? The tarpaulin couldn't be traced back to him. He'd brought it two states away at the same time as the tools. A complete set to ensure there was no suspicion. And paid with cash. As far as anyone knew, last time he'd seen his wife was that morning. When she kissed him on the cheek and left for work. Her car would be found abandoned at the train station the following day. Rick gave the bundle a final shove and watched it tumble into the hole. Then he returned to the passenger seat of the car and drew the dog out with significantly more care. The dog had never cheated on him. The dog had never lied to him. 
In all likelihood, the dog had never even had a malicious thought. He knelt on the edge of the grave and laid the animal's body on top of his wife's. Then he set to pouring the mound of dirt over the pair of them. We all need rest. Ooh, that was good. Yeah, that was alright, isn't it? Yeah, that was good. I like the twist at the end. Oh wow, Ye you did something with those blocks. <laughs> now it's your turn. Hell yeah. What, for me to build something? Yeah, be a, be a child. Like Tenchi. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Oh god, why does everything disappear when I touch it? Actually, can you can you read the next one? Because I want to read the, the one after that. We could skip to the one after that. Yeah, let's skip to the one after that. <laughs> I should have come earlier in the day. Jack took his hands out of his leather jacket pockets and rubbed them together. The towering abandoned apartment building was shrouded in shadows in later in that late hour. And it was impossible to see through the windows. Um on the sixth floor. He turned to look at the building across the street. Hutchinson Proud, attorneys at law. A noble name belayed the fundamentally seedled business that uh, barely scraped by in the slummy downtown suburbs. But his girlfriend, Cammy, worked there as a secretary. Jack turned back to the abandoned apartments. The front door was boarded over. He knew there would be other ways to get in. Broken windows, ledges, doors without locks. But the thin plywood was watching from age and had fractured with a solid good kick. Felt good to break something. Cammy had been upset for weeks about what she saw through the sixth floor window. And a constant crying built up a tension in Jack that could really only be solved in violence. Inside, the foyer was full of dust and long abandoned cobwebs. A scrabbling sound came through one of the gaping black doorways. A rat, probably. Jack rubbed the back of his hand across his nose and glowered at the dark area. The building had been vacate, vacated for more than ten years. It was in such a bad state of disrepair that Clammy claimed it would be cheaper to knock it down and build a new building than to renovate it. But the downtown suburb already had too many housing, or too much housing for its dwindling population. Whoever owned the apartment will have given them up as a lost cause. Broken glass, tiles, dusty plaster coated the staircase and scraped under Jack's shoes as he climbed. His footsteps rang through the space, echoing eerily back at him from a dozen directions, blending in with the labored breathing. He'd been unemployed too long, he decided. A flab from too many beers, too many days spent in front of the television was setting in, and his hard had heart had to work harder to lift him up the stairwell. He repeated Cammy's word under his breath as he counted the floors. In the window opposite my office, that would mean the sixth floor near the building corner. He just stands there and he, well, he stares at me all day. He won't after this. Jack squeezed his fingers into fists. He would teach a creep the lesson. Didn't matter if it was a drugged out hobo, a runaway teen, or just a run of a mill pervert. If they didn't swear to stay away from the window from now on, he would tip them over the sill and let them smack into the concrete. The police wouldn't care. Deaths were very common in the area, and unless they were blatant murders or easy to solve, they what? were pretty much swept under the rug. What? 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 Look at the... Oh. <laughs> Jack paused to catch his breath. The empty hallway stretched in front of him, sad and decaying. Half the rooms were missing doors, and was dying sunlight came through them. The whole area smelt of urine rot and a sickening organic decay. He sniffed, rubbed at his nose again, and then set out the hallway, counting the rooms as he passed. It would be one of the windows furthest along, second or probably third from the corner room. That would look directly at Cammy's window. He peered into each room. A couple still held furniture, though they were very badly damaged. Rat droppings were thick on the ground. One room si showed signs of being lived in within the last few years, but dust clung to the mattress, suggesting that the owner had 
in fact moved out. At last, the hallway's second to last room, Jack found he was no longer alone. A figure, tall and thin, was silhouetted against the light, standing at the window. He stared out of the street below. Jack's heart raced, but he drew a breath in to spread his chest. He placed a hand on each side of the doorway, blocking the stranger's escape. Oi! he bellowed. The figure did not reply, but it also did not move. Something about it struck Jack as unnatural. Performer's no human note, could keep that is still. Britishly written, so oi is not ironic in this context. It wasn't even breathing. <laughs> he held his pose in the doorway for a moment, watching it, and then cautiously stepped closer. As soon as he got out from the light behind the figure, it became very clear. The shock and relief caused a laughing fit, and Jack doubled over as he hacked breaths as he drew a shaking hand through his hair. It was just a mannequin. Jack moved up to it and poked the old porcelain skin as he chuckled gradually. Jeez, buddy, you've been terrorizing my girlfriend for weeks. He pulled out his mobile phone, took a picture of the figure with a selfie, and sent it to Cammy with the caption, Found the creep opposite your window. He's a real dummy. It was a good pun, Jack thought, as he turned towards the window and stared at Cammy's workplace. He could barely see the little cactus that she kept at her window. She'd been right. The figure was almost perfectly opposite. He wondered idly if somebody had left the mannequin as a prank, or it had just been an un abandoned like the other figure. His phone buzzed with a reply. What the hell? Did you actually go there? You promised you wouldn't. It's not safe. The phone buzzed a third time. Oh, and that's not the window guy. He doesn't just stand there. He paces. Jack found a frowned at the final message, drew a sharp breath as a hand landed on his shoulder and pushed him. That's it? The end. Ye Oof. Which one should I read next? I don't mind. You could read the next one. Sight. You like that one? I haven't read many of them. I just read a few. Oh, I see. Fucking rip my hands indeed. And also, this profile pic is from a game that Cry played um, where you use water guns and your ninjas. Sen Grand Kanagan or something. Um, it's weeb trash. So, just, just letting you know. Oh, <laughs> one second. Huh? I have to entertain you guys. Oh, no. Sen Grand Kangra. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> I see. What? Oh. What? Oh, that's cool. That's dope. What? I can't believe it does that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Excuse me, physics, I would also like a word.
so sorry about that. Uh, my family had a small problem. I just ran and took care of it. What I miss is Tenchi. Tenchi is having some clear connection problems. Tenchi, what's going on, dude? Tenchi, are you playing peekaboo? Your computer is fucking rip. Oh, jeez. Did it die? I must go wish a lovely Dent a Merry Birthday and Happy Halloween. Take care, Sassy Farm Tech. No internet? Okay. That explains a lot. Okay. So what should I do? <laughs> uh... I can do any number of things. Your, your internet and mobile is not enough. Fucking rip. Okay. Um... Yeah, no, don't worry about it, dude. Uh... There are a number of things I can do. You can't even connect to Discord. Wow. Does it look like it's a temporary outage? Or does it look like it's it's really down? Either way. Uh, let me think of something to do in the meantime. So... Really down? Okay. Okay. So what should I do? Um... I could continue reading. But I kind of want to keep doing that with you. I could turn it into a Mahjong stream. That's totally fine. Wow, what a time for it to go down. Shit. Uh, sorry, I'm all like knocked off. It might also go down. Feel free to do the stories or Mahjong. I think what I'll do is I'll do Mahjong. And I'll save the stories for a bit. Because I have to go... Because I have to sleep early anyway. Wowie. Um, and I'd rather do those with you. Because you, you brought those to me. Um, so I think I'm going to wait on those. And do that. Yeah. My John is good. Okay, so I'm gonna get that to work. Sorry, my head's like not in the game. Uh, good. So get that. Maybe the new Mahjong. Oh, I just loaded up the old, like, the old solitaire. Uh. I could try to get the new Mahjong to capture. I could try to get the new Mahjong to work. Uh, but I think I'll stick with the solitaire for now. If it's okay. Um. And just do things that way. Um. Yeah. So, let me capture that, uh, do that, and I could kick it back with the synthwave again. That worked really nice. You do you, I think my whole internet may be down in a second. Not a problem, Tenshi, I love you. Um... 
Yeah, let's get this. This is actually Skyrim. But... Let's do this for now. Uh... And just chill for a bit. <laughs> we pine hoggles to you too. Uh... Yeah. Sorry, my head's all over the place. I just had to run around in the rain for a little bit, so I'm a little... Just knocked off and trying to remember what I'm doing. Uh... And it's, it's been a long, long day. Uh... And... Let's see what we could do with this board, though. Hey, Thunder Kitty! What's up, man? I haven't seen you in a dog's age, actually. How have you been, man? You've, you've been away for a bit. Oh, it's so good to see you. Uh, alright. So that's kind of triangulated. Not really, though. Uh... <laughs> God, it's good to see you guys. Uh... I hope I didn't leave you guys completely alone for too long. Uh, it was unexpected. My mom kind of just barged into my room in a panic, and I was just like, uh, alright. I gotta go take care of this. Life is a way of distracting the hours away. I totally understand that, dude. I totally understand that. It's always good to have you back, whenever you can come by, really. Never, never feel like, you know, we'll be angry at you for being away. We're just really ha excited and happy when you come back. Like, that's always how I see it. Um, but yeah, how are you doing, man? What's up? How's life? Has life been treating you well, anyway? Like, hopefully things haven't been too bad. I think I can get rid of that pretty safely. Yeah. And that gives us a chicken. Am I feeling better? A little. Uh... It... It looks like I've got a long-term problem. Um... But... I'm being brave about it. <laughs> I... I'll be okay. Avoiding people because I have a sneaking suspicion someone got you sick? Oof. That's the worst. I'm sorry about that, dude. But yeah, it looks like I'm I've got a a long and scary battle with mental illness in front of me. Uh what I thought would go away is not going to go away for a while. But I'm not going to let it slow me down and I'm just going to continue to do my best and give it my all every single day and you know we'll see how far I get <laughs> like as sad as that may sound like you gotta just keep your chin up have I gotten trick-or-treaters not today uh, we got really unpopular one year because we gave out, uh, granola bars. Uh, so we were avoided by the kids who know what do. Um, which is nice. That wasn't what my mom panicked about. My mom panicked about something else related to my field work tomorrow. She's like, you can't take care of this tomorrow, so I need you now. And I'm just like, uh, all right. Um, it was actually like... Not to give her shit, it was actually, like, a problem. But... I, I took care of it, so it's all good. I don't see this fourth north here. Um... I do see this nine that I can get rid of fairly easily. Ah, okay. 
kids these days. Granola bars are awesome. I agree. I like I like granola bars. In moderation. Like my teeth don't like them too much. They I have to work hard to eat them. But they're they're not bad. They're really They're not bad. Actually, could I have done that without doing this? No, I couldn't have. Okay. Um But yeah, uh Grad school's going okay. I have a lot less time. And I'm gonna have even less as time goes on. And then I'm gonna have more time again later. Uh, just on a grand scale. And I'll talk more about that as that starts happening. Like, for reals. Um. Yeah. I haven't been in chat much on other channels. And for that, I'm sorry. I've just gotten really in my head about being in chats and I've just stopped going to a lot of streamers I used to go to and but again like it's things I'm working on and those dino brands those dino birds are vicious and doesn't trust oh yeah birds are birds will be birds man Birds are the birds are hard work. Um But yeah. Life life is good. Like my work has been rewarding so far. Like classwork is hard. I still have to do classes, but that's okay. Um and like thank you guys so much for being like really supportive of my work. It 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 brings me happiness. Um it, it really does bring me happiness. This would be great to get rid of. Um, can I do that? Yes, I can. Uh, does that do much for me? Not... Not abundantly. I need to get rid of A North somewhere. <sighs> I could get rid of this. See where that takes. It doesn't really take me anywhere. Mmm, I don't even see a solution to this thing here. Oh, I guess that's where that was. Uh, that brings us this, which doesn't help. Okay, so... How about that? Well, that gives me that. That. Goo. But if I do that, then I won't be able to do that later. Uh. Fuck. That's not. Smart. Okay. So, really, I have to do this. Do that, do that, and do that. That's tough. Alright, so then do this. I kind of want to hold off on that, though. I could get rid of that. Yeah, let's just do that that way. Let's just do that that way. Alright, there's no way. There's no way of getting a double match on this. So I won't try... I could try to get rid of this. Could do things that way. I could also not. Hmm. That's an interesting problem. Uh, not sure where the other west is. Ah. So that's concealing a nine. Alright, it's not worth it to try to dig for. Ooh. Oh wait, hold on. That's not actually a problem. Okay. So that can go there, that can go there, that can go there. Good. Cool. 
Sentries by mobile? You might be able to connect to Discord, but maybe not to Twitch. Oh, and he went back down. Yeah, he's... He's having a rough go of it. It looks like his area just got hit with a, uh... A power outage. Which is okay. He'll come back. Um... He'll come back when he can. Tenshi's been really... Tenshi's really stepped up in the plate, uh, Thunder Kitty, for uh, helping me get through this. Uh, there was just a lot of bullshit that happened really quickly in my life, and I... To be honest, I wasn't equipped for it, and I couldn't be. Um... Like, no one's really equipped for someone they love sort of just not caring if they live or die and stabbing them in the back. Like, you can't really do much to prepare for an event like that. Um, you can only clean up afterward. Uh, it's kind of like a tornado warning. You can't really do much. You can just try to make it easier to clean up after. Um, not to be like overly dramatic, but I guess that's how it felt. Um, <laughs> but I'm getting there. There's just a lot of, like, there's just a lot of debris to go through. I think that's, like, the best way of describing it. Like, there's just a lot of debris. And that debris is gonna, it's gonna take a while. And it's it's just a matter of not giving up and not letting it get on top of you. And stuff like that. But I'm doing a lot better than I was. It's still pretty difficult though. And, again, I don't want it to, like, I don't want it to take away from what I can do for you guys. Um, in any way. I still want to make you guys smile. I still want to make you guys laugh. Even if, even if that's a little harder for me. Um, even... Basically, no matter what, I still want to be there for you guys. I still want to, like, make the day easier for someone else. Um, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Yeah, exactly. And... I think, I think I'll be okay, but it's, it's scary, <laughs> and sometimes I gotta take a lot of time off because I'm just not in the right headspace, and I don't feel like I can do what I need to do the way I need to do it. Like, if I feel like it's putting strain on me to stream, I can't stream. Like... I can't, I refuse to fake happiness and give you guys a false picture of me. It, it's not right. And I'll never do it. And so the result of that is, all right, take care, uh, CP Violet. The result of that is, sometimes I gotta take off and take care of myself because 
we just gotta you have to build from the ground up like you can't mush fake it you can't just like be like ah it'll be fine and like tis but a flesh rune like I've been saying tis but a flesh rune for eight years now it's not a flesh rune <laughs> no matter how badly I want it to be it's not a flesh rune and it wasn't a flesh rune eight years ago and it's still not a flesh rune now And it's time for me to stop treating it like a flesh wound. <laughs> and actually give a shit about damage that I've taken. Is that scary? Yeah, because it's so much easier not to care, but... You gotta care. Like... You, you have to care. You can't just not care. Because... Nothing is gonna happen. Like... How long has this been available for? At some point you can't ignore, yeah. And after, um... After we had to remove wolfes and after we had to... Patch up some serious... Problems... I was at my breaking point, like... There was, there was really no more ignoring. Um, there was no more ignoring anything, really. Um, it was just... I just had to fix it. Because if I didn't, it was going to drain the life out of me. And it's really scary seeing in some ways how it's already started to do that. Um, and some of the really horrible things I've gotten myself to think about myself. And it's just product of... no one giving a shit, basically. Like, the people who made giving a shit their job turned around and didn't care. And wouldn't really admit that they did that. Um, life suckers are no-no, yeah. And I'm learning that, like, and I'm learning how to identify what went wrong, and it's hard. It's, it's hard, because you want to believe that, like, the people you trust deserve that trust. And sometimes they don't. <laughs> sometimes... They just don't. And... It's a hard pill. It's a hard pill going down. <laughs> it is... It's rough. But it's not gonna beat me. You're, I'm gonna keep streaming regardless of anything. I fought too hard 
to stop. I gave... I really care about this. And it's... No one's gonna take it away from me. And... Honestly, it helps. It just helps to be around good people like you guys. And... Like, we talk about scary things on Halloween and we tell spooky stories. One of the scariest things I've ever come up <laughs> against is, uh... Depression. It's scary, because it makes you do things you don't want to do. Like... And it doesn't make you hurt people, it just makes you hurt yourself. And it just makes you sabotage yourself sometimes, and... It's scary to sometimes just come out of a trance and be like, What the fuck? I did that? Oh god. What am I doing? Um... But, you know... Sometimes scary shit is what you're given, and you gotta. You gotta just figure it out. Um. But. I wouldn't worry too much about me. Uh. I've been through. <laughs> This isn't my first rodeo. It's just... It's just the weirdest rodeo. Yet. Um... It's just the weirdest one yet. And... I'm not gonna let it... I'm not gonna let it win. I've let, I've let way too many things win <laughs> for me to just give up, you know. I don't want to give up. I don't want to stop. I don't want to slow down. I'm going to have to slow down. I'll admit that, but you... No one's, no one's gonna take away streaming for me. No matter how bad it gets, I'll still try to put out at least one stream a week. If I really can't, I'll be active in the Discord. Like, I'll be around. Um, and I won't. I won't just vanish. Um, and I'll try to bounce back as fast as I can. Like, better than ever. But it might take some time. Like, I don't know if we'll, I don't know if anyone's even thinking like the old Wolfie would have done. But... I don't know if I can completely go back. In fact, I probably can't. But I can definitely... I can definitely get to somewhere better. And... Honestly, that's okay. Like... Honestly, I think that's okay. Are we ever gonna have, like, a full set Ragnarok again? With, like, all those people? I really don't know. I really don't think so. I think that, um... I'm grateful for the time that I had that, but...
I, th I think that's gone. But... <sighs> like, it is what it is, basically. We'll make do and we'll have fun with what we've got and what we're given. And... Honestly, that works for me. Like... Just make everything simple. And... Just see where that takes us. And it'll probably take us on a pretty cool adventure. Because... We end up on pretty cool adventures. Routinely. But, yeah. I'm definitely not gonna stop streaming. That just simply isn't going to be. Ah, so... I feel like I just end up in this situation. I think I have to match these. No, I don't. Okay, so this gives us that. I wonder... No. Sometimes it hides, like, right under that. I don't think it's that sort of board where that'll happen. I think getting rid of this east is a good call. Could get rid of the six as well. Could get rid of the two. That gives me another three. This nine can go. There's the other south. I'm wondering if I should have done that though. Uh, I could try to match the nines. I'm so close with the nines though. That doesn't give me much. So. It doesn't really either. What does this do? Pretty much. Well, it opens that, which gives me this nine. That lets me do this, which reveals this problem, which is a big problem. Those are the same three yeasts that I've been seeing. These turkeys can go. The seven can't. Um, that's not what I wanted, but I'll take it. Uh, okay. Hmm. Something has to give. Okay, so let's give this way. It gives another nine. Okay. So what this tells me is that I can't do what I want. Which is fine. At least we know that. Ah, this gives me the other. Okay. Wait, did I just match a six? No, I didn't. I matched a nine. Different. Completely different. Uh, let me hold off on the sixes because I'm not so sure. No, let me not. I'm pretty sure, actually. Okay, this one can go. This two can go now. That eight has to go. I really messed up with those fours, huh? So it's those two. Well, that's gotta be it then. And that gives me nothing. Okay, so... I'll finish this board, and then I think I'll call it. Uh... 
Because it's been a fun night. But I do have... I do have work in the morning. So I gotta... Get to doing that. I have to get some... Rests and... Things of that nature. Uh... But I should be on tomorrow night as well. Uh, and I might back up the VODs tonight. I might do that tonight. Um, or... No, I won't. I'll do that. Tomorrow morning. Uh, and... I need to go... Uh, shopping tomorrow. So I need... Cool. I'm just putting that on my list of things I need to do. Uh, but yeah, let's finish this board out. Uh, and I hope you guys don't mind me just yammering on. Uh. Returning candy will be on sale tomorrow. Yeah, I was thinking about that. That is, that is an important thing to keep in mind. I might grab something special for my mom then. I don't like chocolate, but she does. Most people in my family do. Uh, so I might grab some of it. Because it'll be on sale since Halloween will be over by then. And then we'll come the Thanksgiving stuff. And Honestly, I'm going to kind of keep like a spooky Halloween theme on uh, for the, I think pretty much the remainder of the year. Because it's my favorite sort of theme and holiday. And I don't know. It's, it's a nice thing to have, uh, just running, I suppose. And just, like, a nice way to express myself and be silly and get out of my, get out of my skin a little bit, because, like, it's been harder, it has been harder to express myself. And I think it shows on stream too. Nightmare Before Christmas movie, yes, yeah. It'll be it'll be Halloween until Christmas, and then it'll be Christmas for like a minute, and then we'll go back to Halloween. Um, just because I I love that sort of thing, and you know, I want to see where it kind of takes me. Um, I don't think I should do that yet. Uh. And so, yeah, we'll be playing spooky games until Christmas, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and personally, I'm excited. I'm letting Tenchi manage some of what I'm playing. He's got some good recommendations, and he's been uh, showing me a whole bunch of games that he likes. And it's been, it's been a nice experience, really. Um... Thank goodness for him, man. I don't know what I would do without him. Uh, he's just... He just makes life easier. It's just so much easier. And, um... Yeah. But I've... Things are looking up. They're just... <sighs> Sometimes I take their sweetest time. Um... And that's okay. Ah, uh, that's why I didn't want to do that. <sighs> Life's easier with extra? Yes. Um, definitely so. And... It's easier when... People are supportive of you. Like... When people approve of what you're doing and they they give you encouragement, it's it's easier. I really want to get rid of this West. Uh, I 
might have to break the fives. Oof. I want to do that though. Ah, that gives me that, but that's still awkward. There are no sixes. Alright, well, we're gonna do things that way. What does that reveal? Nothing. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, but I just matched that earlier. Oh, garbage. Alright, so... Oh, okay. Alright, so that's three. Uh, I could do that, but that's not doing much. I could do this. It reveals that, but I f fucked that up already. I could match these eights and see what comes with it. That's a one. Can't really do anything with that. Ooh. Uh, let's try... Ah, really? I see. Okay. So that gives us this. I can move that five if I need. Uh, this doesn't give me as many options as it feels like it gives me. There's a lot of false choice going on here. Let me get rid of that. This north has to go now. This west is just now here. Uh, um, I could do that. There's this whole situation. That's not great either way. Uh, I can get rid of the five. Ooh, okay. That's helpful. So now we've got the seven. Got this one, too. Is there anything under it? Yes, the west is. And this really isn't in anything's way, so I can do that. That's where that was. Can't really do anything about that. Okay. Let's get rid of that. The nine is now in the center of that. We can just go ahead and do that. Um, which kind of leaves this high and dry, but we'll figure that out. Uh, this six can go, this nine can go, this four can go. Hmm. This is tricky because it leaves few things very high up. Ah, uh, yeah, no. Alright, we're shuffling again. Okay. Right off the bat. No. I think that's safe, though. Um. So what else is going on? So this is on its own. Three nines in a row. Ah. Okay. I don't see a turkey. Ah, I see these sevens. These twos are kind of just obnoxiously there. These fives are bunched up. Is there an answer to those fives? Not really. I don't see them anywhere else. Here's a south, and another south. Which may be okay. Ah, here's this. This turkey is just there. We've got four of the three of these, not four. Ah, this east is over here, which puts urgency on that. Okay. This four doesn't really look like it's moving. Here's a third two. Which I'm not happy about. Because that forces me to make decisions, maybe. And there's the third dragon there. Okay. 
So we have a bunch of shitty decisions. Let's get rid of the five, see where that, okay. Uh, cool. So what does that change? I can do these sevens. That brings me that, but that doesn't really do much. Okay. So, sometimes if it's not doing much, it's better to just leave it. This north can probably go. Because I'm not seeing another north anywhere. Ah, that opens that. That's good. This four starts digging there. That's good. This four, this four, and this four. And that four. Good. These wests are out now. So we've got four east. There's the other north. Okay. So now we can match that on site if we need to. I think the six is a safe move. It really doesn't do anything though, so it's not worth it. Uh, Still in this whole five situation. Still in this whole two situation. I see these fours, but they're not really doing anything. It might be worth it just to get rid of the wests. Do these sixes reveal? Not really. It doesn't reveal anything important yet. We need the plum. Alright, so let's get rid of the wests. Actually, what is in the... Okay, that, but that's fine. Let's go to the wests. This gives me a three. And another three. That gives me a six. Does that help with anything? Hmm. Not really. I could get rid of the souths, too. Ah, that gives me another chicken. Which doesn't really help. Okay. Okay. Let's not do that. Let's instead do this. Get rid of these six. Uh, nope, let's not. Ah, so here's... Okay. So now let's get rid of this. This brings us this. Which is fine. It's not great. Ah. Ah. That is complicated. We would need something that undoes this. So let's start digging here. That brings us that. That isn't actually great news. Um, let's match these sixes. See what? Oh, okay. So that gives us a seven there. That looks like a pretty clear choice. Here's this north. Okay, so this is triangulated. Uh, I can do these two. Okay, good. We can get those out straight off. This nine is probably no good. Nah, it's not really affecting much. Uh, be great if I could get the three out, but it does. Mm? Wait a sec. Might be okay. Okay, that gives us this three, which we want to get rid of. There's that six. We've already messed that. This can go. This can go. Those threes can all go. This seven is kind of stuck. That seven is really stuck. This nine is really, really stuck. So that should go, but I'm not 100% sure on how. These chickens should go in that way, if in any way at all. Um, didn't help too much. Let's break this, that's five, that doesn't really help. Okay, so let's get rid of the three. That brings us to six, but that's fine. I really want the one. Okay, that helps us get rid of the nines completely. These fours can finally go. Oh, that's just not happening. All right, so. Oh. 
That's a lot of ugly numbers. Uh, okay, that was never gonna happen any other way. Uh, so that six can go there. I could, I could do things differently. I don't really even know where the other five would have been. Probably not accessible. Uh, okay. I'm missing something. Okay, yeah, I am. Uh, these twos can go, that can go. Wait, could that have happened before? Yeah, that definitely could have happened before. Uh, so now this five has to go. But we can procrastinate on that a tiny bit. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so now these fives gotta go, these twos both gotta go. This six can go, this can go, this can go, this can go. That can go, this can go, and this can go. Sweet. And I think I'll close stream on that. Thank you guys so much. Um, it was a really great night. I was happy I could spend it with you guys. Um, I'm sorry Tenchi had to dip, but you know. <sighs> internet be internet, man. Uh, and when he comes back, he'll... Uh, he'll uh, probably stream with me tomorrow. We might do more Skyrim. I'm craving uh, Skyrim. Or we may do CSGO. We'll see. The world's our oyster now. Thanks for streaming. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming, honestly. It really... It makes a big difference. Um, just being around people and you guys being as supportive as you are. Uh, but in the meantime, do not eat or drink any questionable substances. Make smart decisions. Do not die. Dying is absolutely forbidden, and I will see all of you wonderful people at a later time. Take care, guys. <laughs>